Good morning and happy Vlogmas day one. My name is Elizabeth. I am running with hooks and yarn. Um, welcome to my channel. This is my first real big video. Um, I live in central Ohio. I have three kids, two cats and a dog, and I have a husband. So I'm coming to you this morning. It's about eight o'clock in the morning and I couldn't wait to open. So I'm hoping, since this is my first video, I'm just doing it on my phone. So I'm hoping that I can get some pictures or some pictures or video throughout the day so I can show you some stuff that I am doing. Um, there's a good chance you might see my cats or my dog walk through the camera line. If this is this is their house. We're just lucky to live here. Um, so I did want everyone, you know, I, I've watched enough podcasts and vlogmases to know you have to have, everyone wants to know what's in your cup. So I have one of my Christmas cups. It says Merry and Bright. And I just have some plain old Folgers coffee in here with, um, I really love International Delight Sweet Cream because then I don't have to put any sugar in it. I can just put my that creamer in it and it is splendid. I love a creamy, sweet, full body coffee. So let's get down to business. Why are we here? Well, let's see the advents that we have, and then I'll tell, go into a little bit about my plans, and hopefully, like I said, we can have some pictures of me maybe winding it, but that'll be up in my office room, and it might be a little messy, so please disregard the mess if you see it. So, let's get to the first one. I have this beautiful box. It is a, it is a white box, but that little symbol right there, can you see it? That one makes it beautiful. This is Laughing Cat Fibers. Um, Laura is one of my very dear friends and I, she put this out. It is, oh my goodness, Laura, I can't remember what the name of it is. Luminous C. I was going to say bioluminescent, but I knew that was wrong. Um, it is Luminous C. So I have opened the box already just because I was going to try to put all these in baskets, but this one said don't take it out of the box because Apparently, there's something in the bottom as well. Um, my plans with this, because it is a 12-day advent, is I'm going to go ahead and start opening it. And I do have a 12 days of Christmas, I'm sorry, 12 days of creep miss coming from Fangirl Fibers. It just hasn't been shipped yet because it's a 12-day. So I'm going to open this one. And then I'm going, once this one is done, I'm going to open the 12 days of creep miss from from, like I said, from Fangirl Fibers. So let's open day one. Oh, these are so cute. They're in little white bags and they're numbered. It says Meowy Catmas. Oh, I can't. There we go. Merry Catmas. And then it looks like, let me open this. It looks like this is the inspiration photo. So let's see what this one is going to be. Oh my goodness. And there's a little stitch marker in there. Oh, it looks like a mermaid fin. I don't know if you can see little mermaid fin in there. Oh, I did not know there was gonna be stitch markers. I'm so excited. I was just telling my husband yesterday that we I need more stitch markers. I mean, I need more of everything, but. But look at this absolute beauty. It has blues and yellows and plums and greens and it is just absolutely stunning. I'm pretty sure that my th this one is going to go into my granny stripe blanket which is upstairs and I will have pictures and progress of all of these advent projects tomorrow because I'm opening them all today. So that is this one. It is so pretty. Oh, Laura, this is gorgeous. I'm going to put it back in the bag. And I'm going to take it out and put it over here so I can take it upstairs with me. My dog, Jessie, might come through and try to lick my face. Just so you know, just ignore her. She's, she's a needy little stinker. I also have this pretty box. 
This is from the Fiber Seed. Lindsay is amazing. She is also one of my very, very dear friends. And I already do have plans for this advent. I am going to make the, it's called the Advent 2020 sweater. That's what it's called. And there's, the pattern has, you know, a hat and cowl and, and mitts and a scarf. But I'm going to make this sweater. I'm not going to be starting this today. I'm going to be starting this probably going to be Christmas or Christmas Eve cast on mostly because I'm not a very great knitter. I'm still very new in my knitting journey. I am more of a crocheter and I don't want to put the pressure on myself to knit an entire sweater during Advent using stitches I've never done before. Um, I can knit and purl and I did start a love note. It's somewhere in my various whip piles. Um, and I'm doing pretty well with that, but I just don't want to put that pressure on me to make an entire sweater during Advent. But it's going to be beautiful. So I got Lindsay's, the fiber seeds, All is Bright Advent. And it's this beautiful box. It has this in it. And it looks like day one is right here. Day one. Let's see this beauty. I can already tell you it's going to be gorgeous. Oh, Lindsay, you've already outdone yourself. Look at this beautiful pink. I don't know if the, if the lighting is picking this up well enough, but it is a stunning, vibrant, like perfect tonal pink. And it is so gorgeous. The top of the sweater starts, I read through the pattern, that starts with um, a, a hundred gram mini, uh, a hundred gram skein of a, of something. And I think I'm going to do a solid neutral, but we'll see that. This right up here by my face is going to be so pretty. Here's Jessie. She'll make an appearance. I promise. Ooh, is there something else down there? Nope. Jessie, do you want to say hi? This is Jessie. She's going to give me kisses. Come on, Jess. Come over here. Come on. Mommy's filming. Come on. She is a four-year-old rescue. She's a Welsh Collie, and she is a stinker, aren't you? Can you sit down, please? Sit down. Sit. Stay. You can stay right here. Stay. She also is very needy. So that is that one from Lindsay. Lindsay, that pink is gorgeous. I am so excited. I cannot wait to, I can't wait. So I also am going to do this crochet, um, crochet countdown to Christmas. I can't read backwards today. Um, this is from Spotted Horse Design Co. And you get one of the, you put your phone and it's a QR code and it teaches you how to do a new stitch. So later today, I'm going to take some scrap yarn that I have. I have a bunch of it upstairs and I'm going to learn a new stitch and then I'll know a new stitch. And I just thought that was a really cool way to learn some new crochet stitches because who doesn't like to learn new things when you're in the fiber arts. I also, Jesse, watch out, sweetie, was very kind. My husband was very kind and ordered me a loose leaf tea advent. So I'm going to enjoy a cup of tea today too. And let me find day one because they're actually not, day one is right here, but they're actually not in order, which is kind of crazy. So day one is called Fireside Spice. Oh, I should probably tell you where it's from. This is from Testa Tea, Keep It Cozy, Countdown to Christmas with Testa Tea. I just got it off Amazon. I think it was 20, 25 bucks. Um, I was looking for something to, you know, have that's nice and cozy. And we might not do the fireplace tomorrow. That's a little bright, brighter than I expected. I'm sorry. If if you could give me some, how how let me know how the lighting is. If I need to keep the TV off with the fire, or maybe just sit in front of the Christmas tree. Just give me some tips and pointers, because again, I've never done this before, and I'm nervous. So I hope I'm doing okay. So this is my tea advent and I'll get to have a mug of loose leaf tea every day. And I have a really cool steep uh, 
handheld steeper. I will show it tomorrow or I'll get video of it or pictures of it later. So let's talk about the tea for today. It is called mulled wine fruit tea. Show you. It has hibiscus, cinnamon, apple, orange slices, cinnamon sticks, orange peel, cloves, natural flavor, and rose hip. It's caffeine free. This is just a one cup brew. Um, it says it's for immunity, so maybe it'll help me get rid of this congestion that I've had. I've I was sick and then I don't think I'm sick anymore. I just have a bunch of crap right here and I've been trying to get it out. Ugh. So I also, one of the other things that I'm doing is I have Nicole from Hugh Loco. I got hers, her advent calendar. And I am so very excited. This one is going to be a cozy memories blanket. Um, I already did some swatching, it's all upstairs. Um, but I already have my needle. I'm gonna hold it double and do a DK version. Um, this is a paid for pattern, so I'm not going to give a lot of information. I am going, I have a Ravelry account and I am going to do my very best to put these up on Ravelry. I've never been good at that. I just kind of work as I go and, and that's, a, that's what I do. So I'm gonna do my absolute best to put all these projects up on Ravelry and keep them updated, um, but this is a learning curve for me, so I hope everyone is okay with that. So this fade, or this, yeah, this fade from, from Nicole is called Oxide. And on the inside here of the box, it has the names. I'm not gonna read them all. I, my husband read them. I read the first couple, but I don't wanna spoil myself. It also looks like it has a whole skein, and I'm very excited about that. But yes, this is gonna be a Cozy Memories blanket. So, box one, let's see what it's going to be. Ooh, so this colorway is called Gilded. Oh, this is pretty. So, it has some creams and it's got some golds and some I don't know if you can see that but that's some beautiful rusty colors and some yellows and some orangey speckles oh this is beautiful this is gonna be so fun so I'm gonna wind this upstairs and I'm gonna hold it double to make my cozy memories and I am this is gonna be so pretty and the yarn is so soft like I can put it by my face it is so soft oh this is gonna be so much fun to work up today and then there is one other thing that I'm doing, well, there's actually two, but I am waiting on one more sock set to come in from my friend Laura at um, Always Be Kind Yarn. She is sending out her holiday package, which is a sock set. And so as soon as it gets here, I will throw that on the needles too. But I'm not, like I said earlier, not an avid, super big knitter. But for some reason, all I wanted to do with these advents was knit stuff. And all I kept thinking was, I don't have any socks. I don't have any socks. And I was obsessing over it yesterday. So I'm trying to organize all my stuff here. I should probably get better at organizing all of my things, but maybe one day that'll happen. That one day's just not today. I know what I'm looking for and I can't find it. There it is, sorry. Okay, so I went to my local yarn store yesterday with a list because I knew I needed some circulars um, for uh, the cozy memories. I also have in mind to do the sweet shop blanket. I might do the sweet shop blanket with um, my laughing cat fibers. I'm just not 100% sure yet. I don't want to overwhelm myself with way too much. So if this just sits for a little while, that's okay because I can just open it and enjoy it. But when I went to my local yarn store, I knew that I wanted some Christmas themed or Christmas colored sock weight, sock weight yarn because I wanted to make socks. And so my local yarn store, it's Yarn It and Habdashery in Grandview, um, carries Ba yarn. And so I got their La Jolla. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that correctly. If I'm not, Amy will tell me. Um, but La Jolla. And I got the 
December 23rd, or um, December 2023 color of the month. And I got the August of 2021 color of the month. They've had this one for a while and it just, apparently it just had to come home with me. So what I did was I caked it at the store. Um, I'm also very lucky that I work there every other Sunday when I don't have my kids. Um, so I've actually been kind of saving up so I could actually get, get these, the yarn and the needles and stuff. And I also got a little pack of triangle stitch markers that I left upstairs, so I'll show them to you later. But I am gonna make some matching socks. I do not have pictures of this in skeins. I just have pictures of it. It's all a mess in here right now because I threw it down here so I could, so I could get started this morning. But here they are. So this is the color of the month. This red is the color of the month for December for this month. It is so pretty. It's just this beautiful tonal deep Christmas red. I don't know why the lighting is doing what it's doing. I hope that fixes. I'm sorry guys. I'm really trying. Maybe I should turn that off. Let's turn that off. Oh, that helped a lot. Okay, maybe we won't have the fireplace anymore. Sorry about that. But this is a beautiful tonal. It's got some lighter, lighter red. Oh, it's just a gorgeous Christmassy red. And the other color is a green with some speckling in it. Now you could definitely see the speckling better in the hang, but you can kind of see it. It's just some, like it's got some, deeper green speckles and it's just it's not a whole lot but I thought this would be really pretty with that red so I got some nine inch circulars these are chow goos and they are of course I'm they are two and a half millimeter which is a US one I think or two something like that Jesse stop licking sorry I can't read it in this light, but I'm pretty sure it's a two and a half millimeter. Um, and I'm not 100% sure off the top of my head what US number that is because I generally just look at millimeters because I do that for my crochet hooks. But I am doing a two by two rib and I'm changing colors. It's just going to be a straight stripe um, and then a plain vanilla. I'm not 100% sure what he, uh, heel I'm going to do yet. I started this last night because I just had to start something. And I started this one this morning. I'm just starting to pull in the green. I got my five my five, five rows of my red in my ribbing. So two by two ribbing. Um, I'm probably going to do, so I watch Crazy Sock Lady a lot. And I also watch Knitty Natty a lot. So I've kind of followed some of their patterns and what they do just because it's, then figure out what I like. So I'm probably gonna do 50 to 60 rounds on the leg and then some sort of heel. I've got a couple different in mind, maybe an afterthought heel, maybe a fish lips kiss heel, maybe a slip stitch heel, or maybe a diamond heel. I don't know, I'm gonna figure it out. Or maybe I'll just make one and then make some more because you know, I've not made them before, so why not figure out what I like, right? But I'm gonna change row, change colors every five rows, um, carry, it up, carry the colors inside, because I don't want to weave in all of those ends because that is sounds absolutely terrible. But I'm just going to have these beautiful striped Christmas socks. Um, and I am very excited about them. Uh, my family was not too pleased when I was like, guys, I want to start these now. And they were all just like, oh my gosh, hush, Elizabeth. But they don't get it. They're not yarny people. Um, let's see. What else? I feel like there should be more, but for right now, I don't have any updates or progress on anything as far as, you know, projects because I was just going to show my advents for now. We'll see how I like doing this and maybe I'll start regularly podcasting if anyone enjoys this. Um, for now, there's not going to be a lot of, there's probably not going to be any editing because I'm not really 100% sure how to do that. Um, but I'll figure it out. So yeah, um, happy 
Vlogmas day one. Happy December 1st. Oh, I should probably tell you a little bit about my running uh, because you know, I am running with hooks and yarn. Um, I was gonna get up and run this morning, but it was raining. I don't usually mind running in the rain, uh, but one of my very best friends who lives just down the road, her baby was awake and then she was like, hey, run with me this afternoon when it's not raining. And I said, okay, so I'm gonna run today. I'm gonna get a couple squats in because you know I need to try to get back in shape. And I'm also going to do some yoga. I really, really love doing yoga with Adrian. Um, I printed off, my printer's right over here. I printed off her December calendar. And as soon as she gets her, she always does a January thing where she has, sorry, I told you there was gonna be dogs and cat sounds in the background. Um, but yoga with Adrian always does a video a day in January as kind of like a boot camp. Or, well, I guess boot camp was year two. Um, she hasn't released the name for this next year yet for, for 2024, but I'm going to do my best to do that. And I've also have a challenge with my local run store to do one mile outside every day for the entire month of January. So I do have a run coach and on my non-running days, I'm going to go out and walk a mile probably with, with this one right here. This is Jesse again. I don't know if I had said her name, um, but she likes going running with me. And so I'll do a mile walking with her on my non running days. Um, and she'll do most of my miles with me. We don't, I'm, we don't typically, I don't do a whole lot with her. I think the most I've ever had her up to is 14 miles. And I'm not sure I want to take her much further than that. She's not old by any means, but she's definitely not a, a super young pup. She's about four and she was our rescue. She is definitely mommy's girl if you haven't figured that out. Um, so yeah, that's that's what we're getting up to right now is I do have to go upstairs. I have a full day of work and then I get to go pick my kids up and we have um, some fun stuff to do this evening. There's Ruger. He just jumped up here. Ruger is an all black boy and he is feisty, but he is starting to become a lover. Savage is right here. I know you guys can't see her, but she's kind of a stinker. So I'm not gonna pick her up at this very moment because she'll just yell and scream and you'll see her at some point. I know you will. Um, but I think for now, I think that's it. So please subscribe. This is your reminder to, to subscribe. Um, and also um, you can find me on Instagram at running with hooks and yarn. I am on Facebook with my first and last name, Elizabeth Owen. I am on Ravelry, Elizabeth Owen, 2022. And for now, that's all the places that I'm in. I don't have a TikTok. I don't, I don't do Twitter. Um, this is about it for me. That's about all the social media I can do and I can handle because people just stress me out sometimes. Um, so I guess I'm just gonna get out of here and hopefully later I can either add some pictures of my progress or add video to this so you can see, you know, some of my day to day. Cause again, I'm not, sure how to do that all the way and if not I'll just show you progress tomorrow so enjoy the rest of your day and again happy December 1st happy vlogmas day one bye